Okay, so we all know how amazing Luigi's Mansion is. It captured many forms of horror in a style that only Nintendo could pull off in a game, which ended up making a masterpiece of a game which has become a staple for Nintendo and for the character of Luigi as a whole. But one of the best things about Luigi's Mansion are the iconic boss ghosts that you face around in the mansion. Before we get into the video, we're on the road to 800 subscribers, so let's make this happen by next month. But anyways, in this video, I'll be ranking Luigi's Mansion bosses worst to best. The worst boss ghost in the game is Uncle Grimling. He's by far the worst boss. There's nothing really interesting about this battle. You snap a picture of him and turn the other direction and then he appears for you to vacuum him up. I wish there was more to say about this boss, but there's really nothing, guys. Like, this is by far the easiest boss in the game. You basically can wipe your own butt and still beat him. I'm sorry for you Uncle Grimly fans, but there's just not much to offer right here. Next up, we have the floating couple. I only like the idea of this battle. It's just so simple. You have to defeat a few shy guy ghosts, and then you go on the spinning platform where the dancing couple is at. And then just like Uncle Grimly, you just look away from them, and then one of them will show their heart in an animation. That's about it, though. I love the song, though, that plays in the background. It's a very intimidating song, and I have it playing right now. But I will give the dancing couple their flowers. I do love this design, and it's really creative. It just needs some work done on it. Neville is the very first boss ghost that you encounter in your walkthrough, so Luigi does Neville kinda dirty though. All the man wanted to do was read, and as soon as he gets tired and starts yawning, Luigi just sucks him up. You really gotta feel bad for the man. Books will come flying at you though as well. I don't blame Neville though for doing all that, because all the man wanted to do was get some peace and quiet to just read, just as for Neville. Lindia, just like her husband, is a very decent beginning boss battle, so Lindia is getting all ready for whatever special occasion she's getting ready for, doing her hair, but Luigi decides he wants to be a menace and open up the curtains, which leads to Wynn just messing up her hair completely, so Luigi decides to just suck her up. I have no idea why Luigi is such a menace in this game, but you love to see that ministry. Jarvis is a unique design ghost in the jar collector of the mansion which is just flat out goofy. I don't understand the lore of Jarvis at all but other than that he's a mad boss fight. You basically play whack-a-mole with a twist. Instead of using a hammer you just use the ice element to freeze Jarvis whenever he peeps out a jar. I honestly like the concept of this fight I just don't really think this boss fight should be this late in the game though. Madame Clairvoy's boss battle is so ridiculous. So first of all, she gives Luigi an insight into his Mario situation and how Bowser and King Boo were teamed up now. Then all of a sudden, she talks about wanting to be in peace in her painting form. I guess she was very upset or something since she wanted to be in her painting. This whole boss battle is just whack, but honestly, it's kind of key to pushing the story forward, so it gets bonus points for that. Nana is a lot more of a boss fight than Madame Clairvoya, actually attacking you and you gotta do more than just suck her up. So Nana of course is an all-American knitter, Luigi decides to give her a taste of her own medicine and shoots yarn balls at her, which I guess she starts crying, that's what it looks like from what she shoots out her eyes. I'm assuming it's tears, but also could be lasers, I mean there's really no telling, but I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna assume it's tears. Spooky the guard dog is one of my favorite boss fights in Luigi's Mansion. At the start of the boss fight, he's asleep in the doghouse and you have to wake him up by filling up his bowl with water. Then he just starts chasing you around the yard until Mr. Bones appears. When he does appear, you suck him up to leave a bone on the ground for Spooky to go play with and then you vacuum him up. This boss fight is very easy and hard at the same time, but it's a staple for me, especially for my memories. I really love this game and it's a big part of Luigi's Mansion for me. The Clockwork Soldiers are some of the most well-designed boss fights in Luigi's Mansion. I honestly love the idea of the battle and the concept. So as you enter the room, you're greeted by three Clockwork Soldiers at their battle stations. As soon as you start messing with those clocks, they'll just go ballistic and they'll start throwing plungers at you, their toy guns. When they're dodging the projectiles coming at you, you'll have to go behind the Clockwork Soldiers and rotate their wind-up mechanic. I think that's how you describe the things behind them. I'm pretty positive I even looked it up earlier, but I'm pretty sure that's all you do in this boss fight. And so you collect all three of them into your vacuum. 
Next up, we have Miss Petunia. Now, she's only up here for comedic purposes. So, Luigi notices when he enters the bathroom a silhouette of a lady behind the shower curtain. So, Luigi's feeling very naughty and opens it up to see Miss Petunia bathing. Then proceeds to shoot ice at her, disturbing her shower. I don't know who to blame in this situation, Luigi for opening the curtain or Miss Petunia for disappointing Luigi's standards. Bringing up Shivers is absolutely traumatizing for me and I suffer PTSD because of him. So young me thought when I gained the fire element I should shoot the floating candle. But little did I know it would unleash something I never wanted to hear that little. <laughs> Shivers did not have to be this scary in the game. But anyways enough with my childhood problems. As soon as you light the candle Shiver just starts running off into some back room. As soon as you catch him lacking doing that awful cringy pathetic song he does. You suck him up and beat him silly for all that trauma he caused you as a child. Nice. Slim Bangshot is a very cool boss fight, so this man Slim is casually playing some pool. He's pretty bad though, I could beat him, I've never even played pool really like that, but he shoots the ball into the other three, and they just go ricocheting off the walls and into you. Luigi doesn't like that, so you get one of those pool balls and you throw it back at him a few times to quite literally knock him out, unconscious to suck him up. This boss battle was peak menace Luigi. Mr. Lugs is literally the fat guy off of Austin Powers. I can't say the name because it's inappropriate and this is a friendly channel, but I'll show you a clip. Yeah, I'm bigger than you, I'm higher in the food chain. Get in my belly! I told y'all they're basically the same person, but the cause of this boss battle is honestly so ridiculous. So Luigi's back on his young boy ministry and sucks up Mr. Lugs' food, and the servers bring in Mr. Lugs' food and get destroyed by Luigi, and Mr. Lugs can't live without his food. So Mr. Lugs takes action into his own hands and starts shooting fireballs out of his mouth at Luigi until he flat out just gives up because of fatigueness, and then you gotta do the classic vacuum up to take care of Mr. Lugs. Entering our top 10, we got Melody. Her boss fight is very reminiscent of older Mario music, and she'll make you guess where the song originated from, so it's quite a challenge, so you gotta have top tier Mario knowledge. Once you've guessed all the songs though, she'll start throwing music sheets at you, and you'll have to suck them up, and then she'll be vulnerable for you to go capture her. Biff Atlas is just in the gym put just putting in that hard work and Luigi is a Lizzo fan so he thinks working out is just so overrated so basically you have to knock Biff Atlas out with the punching bags while he's doing his RDLs. But Biff decides that you're on thin ice and starts charging at you trying to hit you but trying to dodge him is honestly kind of tough as well but the third time you hit him with that punching bag he just flat out passes out on the ground making you able to capture him and that was it for Biff Atlas. Soupy is a stereotypical horror little girl, she's just trying to get her rest in her upside down bed, but like a million other bosses, Luigi just wants to be a flat out menace. And just does some middle school boy sleepover stuff by pouring water on Soupy while she's asleep, which I'm pretty guilty of pulling this tactic before, but anyways, if you do this, I hope you get whooped by your dad's belt and get grounded from Roblox and Among Us because this is flat out torture. Chauncey the baby will always be a childhood trauma I won't ever forget just like shivers because of that horrible baby cry does that <laughs> and I don't get me started with that toy that makes that gosh awful sound. This game is just full of PTSD that I won't ever recover from. But anyways the beginning of this fight is just as easy as taking candy from a baby and I hope you guys like what I did there. No? Okay. Well, anyways, at the beginning, all you gotta do is play with him until you throw the ball at him and he gets a boo-boo and then he teleports you to some different dimension where he's just huge and you're just tiny. But those horse toys will just start flying at you and huge bouncy balls just go flying everywhere and then Chauncey will try to squish you as well and it's a very hard beginner boss, but you'll end up having to shoot one of those bouncy balls at his face and make him vulnerable to actually vacuum up. Bogmire is a very different boss compared to the other ones in Luigi's Mansion. This boss isn't even a person like the others. It's a very random, but other than that, I really enjoy this boss. During this battle, you suck up the black shadows and shoot them at the pink one for Bogmire to be vulnerable to vacuum up and rinse and repeat, but it gets a lot more challenging whenever more shadows start spawning. Henry and Orville are the spooky twins of this game and their boss fight really doesn't disappoint so you play a good old game of hide and seek after messing with their toys so you leave the room for them to hide in their boxes then as soon as you get them they just flat out accuse you of cheating and they just get flat out salty and start attacking you but one of them are on an airplane while the other is driving a car but once you suck up their vehicles they're vulnerable to be vacuumed up. 
Vincent Van Gogh is one of my favorite boss battles in Luigi's Mansion. So basically, all you do is go against the different types of ghosts you faced along the way, and then you're able to vacuum up Vincent Van Gogh. It's a very simple boss battle, but very enjoyable. Sir Weston is a really challenging boss battle. As soon as the ice element comes into play, the fight is always hard. You'll be sliding all over the place with icicles falling on your head, and Sir Weston will be shooting ice spikes at you. And to vacuum him up, you have to get the fire to melt the huge ice block he's in, which allows you to vacuum him up, and he's a very beloved boss fight in the game. Bulasis is all the boos combined into this huge boo which is a really challenging boss because of his size and it is trying to bounce all over you which is very hard to dodge as well. But once you pop it against the ice sculpture it pops into all the boos that you have sucked up along the way and then you have to suck them all up to actually defeat this boss battle. You guys already know who is going to be number one, it's King Boo, and I guess you can conclude that Bowser as well, but at the start, Bowser will try to breathe fire on you, and then throw spike balls at you that you gotta throw back at his mouth. And then King Boo will come out of Bowser's mouth, I guess, I don't know if it's a mech or whatever it is, I'm just gonna say it's a mech, but and then Bowser's head will just start floating, and it'll shoot fireballs at you as well while you try to suck up King Boo. This boss fight is so much fun, I've always wanted to replay this one over and over back in the day, and it's really fun, and I honestly think Bowser's so disturbing in this boss fight well those are my rankings of the bosses in luigi's mansion where it's the best and i hope you guys enjoyed the ranking make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and try to tune into my live streams every weekend i love you guys and peace out